I have some delicious low point, low calorie meals and they're all gonna be made with rotisserie chicken. All of the recipes I'm sharing are coming from this magazine, the Hungry Girl magazine. I found this at Barnes and Noble and I'm looking very forward to trying a lot of these recipes. Tonight's dinner is going to be cranberry chicken slaw. I am starting off by shredding up one and a half cups of this rotisserie chicken, which we purchased at Sam's Club. Sam's Club has the best rotisserie chicken. You get a lot of meat on a chicken and it's under $5. I'm gonna pour this into a bowl. I am going to use four cups of broccoli slaw. Now I am gonna chop up some sliced water chestnuts and I need about half a cup of them. Next, I'm gonna use a fourth cup of sweetened dried cranberries. Doesn't this salad sound delicious? I mean, seriously, all the stuff that's going in there so far, oof, it's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna give this a stir, and then we'll start on our next step. We only have a couple more things to add to this salad before it makes it complete. If you follow Weight Watchers, you should have an app on your phone. If not, you need to download it. I'm gonna show you how to enter this recipe into our app, and it will calculate our points for us. This is what the app looks like. Up by my day, go to my food there's a plus sign up here in the corner and you're going to calculate a food you can also build a recipe build a meal scan a barcode we're going to calculate a food so now it has name which i will put in cranberry chicken slaw okay one serving you can change that you can go to looking for cups there it is one and a fourth cups is the serving and hit set Calories are 162, fat, four, saturated fat, 0.5. No, I'm gonna put 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And you just go through and you figure all of this out. Okay, I'm on protein, it has 14 grams of protein. Now this lit up, you're gonna hit create food. And then this little flag right here, you can hit that and it will store it underneath of your flagged foods that are in that sidebar that I showed you earlier. So this is only three points for one and one fourth cup of this slaw. You mark whatever time of the day you're gonna eat it, which mine would be dinner, and then you can hit track. I added some green onions, and I'm gonna add a third cup of this dressing. It's a sesame ginger, it has zero calories, fat free. Put this all over the salad, give it a good stir. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. For one and a fourth cups, it's 162 calories or three points. Oh, and I sprinkled some sesame seeds on the top too. Tonight's dinner is chicken and apple stuffing casserole. But first, I'm gonna show you yesterday's dinner, which was Mediterranean chicken zucchini boats. I have my zucchini cut in half, but before this, I pierced them with a fork, put them in the microwave, cooked them for two minutes, flipped them, cooked them for two more minutes so they're nice and warm. I have some zucchini pieces here in the pan, which I have sprayed. So I'm putting a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder on each of the zucchini boats. Now I am adding spinach to my fry pan, along with chicken. I'll also be adding some salt and pepper and another one fourth teaspoon of onion and garlic powder. Now the recipe says to leave the tomatoes and the black olives out until the very end, but I'm gonna add it right to the mixture. I sprinkled two tablespoons of feta in the zucchini boats. I topped it with the rest of the feta cheese. Now it's gonna go under the broiler for about three minutes. There it is, fresh out of the oven. Doesn't that look divine? For two halves of a stuffed zucchini, it is four points or 180 calories. Those zucchini boats were a huge hit. I will be making them again. The zucchini was cooked but it had a little bit of a crispness to it. It was perfectly done. So I'm glad I cooked it a little bit in the microwave first to just tenderize it. And then the cheese under the broiler melted all over the top of the zucchini boats. Oh, it was so good. With the cranberries in there and then that feta cheese, you had a little sweet and salty going on. Yeah, this was a big hit and I will be making those again. They were delicious. In the mixing bowl, I am putting in, you can do about two, three cups of rotisserie chicken a can of drained water chestnuts, eight ounces sliced, and a 12 ounce jar of chicken gravy. I'm gonna mix that up really, really well. In a saucepan, I have one half cups of water, two tablespoons of light butter, and I'm adding stovetop stuffing into that. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of finely chopped apple and a fourth cup of raisins. Did you just wrinkle your nose? This is gonna be good, I promise you. It's got 
some really weird things I'm adding into this casserole, but it's gonna be so full of flavor and delicious. Don't worry, you're gonna like it. I ended up throwing out four cups of French style green beans. They were frozen, and it says that, you know, I was supposed to let them thaw out, and you know, all that. Well, I didn't have time to sit and wait for them to thaw out, so I just put them in the microwave for a few seconds. But I'm gonna add this to the gravy mixture. This could be quite a casserole, isn't it? There is a lot of stuff going into this, but I'm done adding. Now I'm gonna put it together. Let me show ya. I sprayed an eight by eight pan. I'm gonna put the gravy mixture in here and smooth it out really well. I'm gonna take that stuffing mixture and I'm gonna put this all over the top of it. I'm gonna cover this with aluminum foil and it's gonna go in my oven on 375 for 20 minutes. I love casseroles because I don't even have to worry about a side with this because it already has the green beans and all the goodness going on, the stuffing, and then the chicken, which would be the main course. Oh, casseroles are just the best, aren't they? Plus the oven will heat up our house this winter. After the 20 minutes, I'm gonna remove the foil and I'm gonna put it back in for 10 more minutes until it's bubbling hot. Doesn't this look good? For an eighth of the pan, it is seven points or 293 calories. It is time to eat. I am preheating my oven to 375. Because tonight for dinner, we are having garlic chicken white pizza. This recipe only does one pizza at a time. I am going to up my measurements because, I mean, there's four of us that are gonna be eating this. So I will have the original recipe that just makes the one down below. I have the rotisserie chicken all shredded and waiting. I also sliced up a tomato into thin slices and I chopped up some fresh basil. There is nothing like the smell of fresh basil. Oh, as soon as I opened the package and then started chopping, I was like, oh man, just sitting there sniffing the package. It was so good. Okay, in that bowl, I'm adding three tablespoons of low-fat ricotta cheese, one teaspoon of chopped garlic, an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm gonna mix this together. I'm using this Joseph's pita bread. You can get this at Walmart. So you take one of these, they're only one point, which is awesome and I'm going to place that ricotta mixture on top of it and I'm gonna spread it around. I placed about a half a cup of chicken or two ounces on the pita, a fourth cup of fat-free mozzarella, a teaspoon of grated Parmesan cheese, and four slices of tomato. I actually might cut this in half. That's much better. <laughs> My tomato must have been pretty large. And I'm gonna bake them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. The pizzas end up taking about 12 minutes. Now I am topping them with fresh basil and they are ready to eat. All the recipes are linked below. Here are two more videos for you to continue watching to get lower points. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.